Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. This is Kazoro, and T7 wants to talk to us. T7 is happy working with Jedi. T7 and Jedi are an unstoppable team. Evil doesn't stand a chance with the two of us at home. Jedi appreciates T7. Others underestimate T7. Shafu underestimated T7. Shafu is a Rodian slave trader. Master Zal and T7 put him out of business. I hope he went to prison for a long, long time. Shafu's not in prison. Master Zal convinced Shafu slaving is wrong. Shafu released all slaves on ship. Shafu changed his ways. Did Master Zalo threaten him? Or did he use force persuasion? Master Zala used logic and reason. Shafu realized the error of his ways. Shafu turned undercover agent for Jedi. Shafu returned to hut space. Shafu freed hundreds of slaves. Shafu disappeared after Master Zalo died. T7 hopes Shafu is okay. He probably decided to lay low after Master Zalo was killed. Get out of the game before his cover was blown. Jedi is probably right. T7 is reassured. T7 is ready to continue missions. T7 and Jedi get back to saving the galaxy. Alright. So let's head on out. We're actually really close to finishing T7's kills. Alright, what do we got? Turn in some rat cool things over there. Then we gotta go talk to a couple of people. And there's level 24. That gave me Searing Saber. And new skills to train. I get Force Stasis as a new ability. That's actually a pretty good one. I kind of want to go get my skills now. Uh, on our way through, let's drop off some of this stuff. Oh, looks like we're full up on Rubot crystals. I can sell those now. Alrighty. And force stasis, please. Using a lightsaber is just as much science as art. Sweet. Okay. Let's go turn in these couple of missions. And finally be done with Terrace. Your supervisor sent me. I found out what happened to your promised ones. There's no happy ending. I knew they couldn't have disappeared without a trace. Give me what you found. Let us learn the history of this doomed planet so we don't repeat it. Okay. And the archive, the planet sequence finally ending. told you might be coming. Was there anything in the archive? Apparently, the ancient Theresian government thought the most important thing to preserve was themselves. Themselves? What do you... Do you mean literally? That's amazing. All this time we've been working from all the recordings and the occasional droid when the key to the whole planet's history is right here. I must notify the Republic. Thank you for braving the Rackles to uncover this. I can make hilts as needed. So I'm done. Anyway, uh, let's turn this off. Turn this on. I'm supposed to meet Dr. Godera at my ship, which means not on my ship. That means, you know, in the airlock just before my ship or something like that. 
Uh oh. What's this mission to pick up here in the spaceport? Yeah, it wasn't much of a cliffhanger, was it? Anyway, here we go. Fantastic, you're back. Governor Suresh needs to speak to you right away. Hold on. How wonderful to see you again. I'm sure you're already noticing the changes your efforts have brought. Rackle attacks are down 80% in a resettlement zone, and the few we encounter are repelled more easily. Construction crews are back to work with a bit of arm twisting, and they're developing more ambitious projects. They believe in what we're doing again, thanks to you. Now that progress is being made, will the Republic send more resources? I'm doing my best to see that they do. But in spite of our success, we still have some serious challenges. The Rackles we've displaced now threaten our forward expedition teams. We've endangered our most vulnerable projects. The work those teams are doing is critical to reclaiming Terrace. If we don't help them, the confidence we've worked so hard to restore could die forever. You won't stand by while innocent lives are at risk. I knew I could count on you. Everyone working in that wilderness has lost friends and comrades. They're frightened and losing hope quickly. I need you to rekindle that hope. To show our people that no enemy is too powerful to overcome. Let's get to work. It sounds like there's a lot to do. The team leads are at Bridget's run. It was a top-notch swoop track before the Sith attacked. A speeder will take you out once you're ready. When you land, find my agent Vila. He'll be your guide. Hundreds of lives and millions of credits were sacrificed to bring us to this point. Do whatever it takes. Our project cannot fail. Alright, so now they want me to head all the way out to uh, raise the morale a little bit. Which will be taking this speeder for you. Yeah, the cliffhanger I left at the end of last episode. You could totally guess it. Um, I guess, the, well, I guess you can only guess it if you've been keeping up on my other series, my Sith Inquisitor. I know for a fact I need to go like here or something. Let's let's head to this one and then see where we're going from there. Um. So, some, on some planets, I guess it's the first time for this series, so I'll explain it. On some planets, after you complete all the missions, all the regular class missions and the planet sequence of events, the planet missions, um, then as you're leaving the planet, you'll find somebody with a new mission to pick up, and it is the bonus series. It's just, you know, a few extra missions that you get to do to, uh, just to boost your level up a little bit if you're slightly lower leveled or you know under geared they'll have a little extra gear that you can get there so it's just you know a little extra story content a way to make sure that you're high enough level for the next area especially if you're not doing any of the uh, extra quests or anything okay oh we have to go all the way over there. So when we land here, we're going to want to fly one more all the way over there. I don't want to walk through all this. Alright, come on. Almost there. So while we're doing that, we'll turn off for class quest again. I've discovered Canner. It says you have discovered. It usually means you've unlocked a uh, quick travel point. I've discovered Lytle. That's this one right here. Oh my gosh, you're really going to take me all the way around? These taxi paths don't know what they're doing. But I did get Prejix Run, so I'm just gonna quick travel there as soon as this freaking taxi stops. 
Hey Bioware, thanks for watching. Fix this taxi path right here that I'm flying. It's not an intelligent one. And it's very time consuming. And some of them are just a little bad, they do a little bit of shaking. This one does a whole path and then backtracks and it's just very, very annoying. Okay, so we got some quick travel points. Canner, Lytle, and Brajix run. Just by flying near them. Alright, Brajix run. And here we've got a few quests to pick up, as always. You can't do this, Major. The Governor even sent us more help. Look! You'll have to work quickly to get this place safe and running again before the Major's evacuation. Maybe then he'll change his mind. Talk to any of the people here. They'll tell you what needs to be done. I just hope we're not too late. Looks like the governor knew what she was doing when she sent you here. Good luck to you. Alright. So that quest just tells us to do other quests. Alright, so here's a side quest here to pick up. And then we'll go pick up the main one, Missing Link. Tell me you're not a pirate. Don't mind him, Jedi. Pirates attacked our settlement and fed his family to the rack holes. All of us have been the same, really. Perhaps, perhaps you can help us? Nobody should go through what this man has. Tell me what I can do. First pirate that crosses my path, bang! Feed him to the rack ghouls. See how he likes it. Look, maybe he's not all there. But all of us know how he feels. We built a settlement out here. We defended it from Rackles. We started families. And those pirates attacked and took everything. It's hard not to want revenge. And mostly, we just need to move on. Start a new settlement on a different part of the planet, maybe. I'm here to help. Is there anything I can do? We had equipment at our camp that made Taurus livable. Protected us from the Rackles. If we can get that equipment back, we can start over. Maybe start to forget and heal. Can you help? You can count on me. All right. So she wants us to recover some survival equipment. Right, so I just want to get over there and talk to Mola Hackstore. Pick up their missing link quest. There's some scavengers we can walk around. And more side quests to pick up. No. Get around the scavengers. Okay. Let's go see what she has to say. This is not a grooming behavior. That's two news at the very least. And you know that. I'm just saying neither the university nor the garrison. Never mind. We have company. Hi, I'm Mola Hackstore. This is Professor Brawl. We're applied xenozoologists. Uh, could you settle something for us? I'm sorry. Xenozoologist? We study alien life forms. On Taris, that pretty much means rack ghouls. Come look at this. We implanted a recording device in a rat ghoul and released him. This image is from the footage of his warrant. Looks like a new species of rat ghoul. 
taller, meaner, dominates normal racks. And when it was being recorded, it, uh... It reached over and shut the transmitter off. I didn't think rack ghouls were that smart. They may not be, but the evidence is compelling. If he were playing with a switch, he'd flick it on again. He hasn't. If these ghouls are capable of tool use, our colony defenses need to be changed. But we need the footage of our device to be sure. Besides the obvious academic prestige, it is essential that the Republic find out how dangerous this new species is. The last thing we want are organized rat ghouls. I'll dig up your device. Alright, now we gotta get a camera off of a rat ghoul. How many teeth did you say those things have? Over 3,000? Because I think I feel every one of them. Stop complaining, she barely grazed you. Besides, this gave us solid evidence of changes in Nexium maternal behavior as a result of... You! What do you know of the plight of the endangered Nexium? I'm sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. I am the voice of the voiceless. Protector of the Nexu, the most beautiful, intelligent, adaptable. Giant, drooling cat monsters with big, pointy spikes. Liberated zoo specimens started a thriving population here on Terrace. But the sows are starting to frenzy because their pups are being stolen! Blasted scavengers! Are Nexu good eating or something? Some unscrupulous piles of dung think it's fun to throw helpless animals into gladiatorial pits! So people can laugh while they're cut into pieces. Most of the time, the next who win. I'd go after those scavengers myself, but I uh, lost all feeling in my blaster hand. You're a next who love bite. Of course, if someone else wanted to volunteer. We are here to restore Terrace's environment, not destroy it further. Thank you. I knew I wasn't alone wanting to see a thriving next who colony. I think they ate Outpost 5. The best thing to do is to hit the scavenger's main compound, destroy all the cages, and they can't take another Nexu. Okay, we're gonna work our way around. There are Nexu cages on either side. I'm probably gonna get all five over here. And then we'll just go get some survival equipment and the camera. Alright, where are those cages? There, this is what they look like. Medic. Okay. I really don't need the bonus mission, so I'm really just looking for the next two cages. multi-stage bonuses are fine, but just the regular ones, uh, I'd rather get on with the game at this point. Yeah, I have less than 30 kills before T7 is done. I call in Kira. one back there. Okay, I'll take you out to get to it. cages, ignoring the bonus around them, moving up to the survival equipment and the camera. Oh, looks like somebody else has been up around here. 
You, sir. survival equipment and this is a multi-stage area so we just want to kill everything on our way through That's how the force choke works, but I like it down here more. It's a quick channel, or a second and a half, and it stuns them for the duration of the channel. But even a short channel will, uh, uh, I don't need any of them. It's these guys that might have the, uh, camera. There we go. Alright, I need more survival equipment. And I need to finish off the uh, bonus. See, it takes a while sometimes for them to finish dying. Stage two, defeat even more of them. I need to defeat ten more, so I want larger groups. Hunter's range. Oh, let's see if I'm looking. Guardsman is melee. Hunter is ranged. All right. Need four more because there's somebody else up and around here with me. Means I have to go looking a little bit. Okay, one more. Fine. I'll beat the big guy back here. is over here. I'll let the rack goals take those guys on while I come to stage three. Are you waiting for some help there? I 
thanks for the help. Alright, got all the stages. Don't see me, don't see me. So I can turn in the dog tags for a reward. Uh, I just want to get out of here and yeah, I'll turn those in later. First I need to get back to this camp and turn these in. Which may lead to more, especially that camera one. Oh, goodness. Did you do it? Did you strike a blow for Nexu everywhere? Oddly easier than striking a blow against Nexu. Tell me how it went. Your Nexu pups are safe. Because of your efforts, future generations can enjoy the magnificent sight of a Nexu stalking its prey through the Teresian swamps. Probably human prey. Nexu attacks should drop dramatically now that they're no longer defending their cubs. Thank you. Any chance of changing our plans to focus on saving the rare Teresian bark beetle? Hmm. Um, T7's done. At some point in there we... Completed T7's kill count. So let's check this out for Kira. Rating 44 gloves. Yeah, better than 34. What about these leggings? Nope. Not better. Alarm crystals are nice, though. Alright. Kira's our new companion. Let's queue up that footage and see the rack goals. Calm down, Mona. I think some facts are in order. Yes, of course. We'd never go into the warrants, even with an escort. This wouldn't have happened without you. If the rack goals are a danger, they must be confronted. If this works out, we'll be sure to credit you in the Journal of Sentientology. Mona, how about phrasing it like, Teresian colonists probably all owe you their lives. You don't think that's more abstract? I'll upload the footage. Let's talk after we've looked it over. The new species has a lair that looks like an X power plant. And it's got, get this, crude recent construction. Mola, the fact that they can build a ladder is the least of our worries. Day 2, minute 11. One of the new species pushes away the others in order to get at a food source. But he pushes them without touching them. It's very clear. There is no contact. A new species can use the Force. Rack rules know only aggression and fear. That's a recipe for the dark side. That's what we're afraid of. We're no experts in the Force, but this new species seems more psychotic than predatory. We don't know if just one of the new species is Force-sensitive or all of them. If it's all of them, the garrison is considering evacuation. This is the largest threat facing Taris. We need eyes in that rack pool lair. I will risk it to protect the colonies. All right. The lair you want is deep in rack pool territory. Some of the power plant structure is still recognizable. I'll fit you with a transmitter so we can see what you see. Get close enough to film the creatures, but if one notices you, do what you have to do. Alright, so now we need to do our darkness supplies. Let's check out where this 50 could go. Uh, 8 and 8. Ooh, 36, 32, 28? Holy cow. Yes, please. Let's plop it in there. Ah, oh, that's much better. Alright, now we gotta do where darkness abides. But I'm about out of time for this episode. So, I will see you next time. Where we'll do where darkness abides, investigating this power plant. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Appreciate your business.